All right, boys and girls, welcome back. We are, ooh, am I recording? Am I recording? Yes, I am. All right, we're going to get right back into where we left off on Tuesday, I think it was, when we started talking about light energy, and that's exactly what it is. It's a form of energy, and we've covered a few things so far. Uh, where we kind of left off is once light leaves its source, so I like to use the sun as my example most of the time which is a natural source of light um, when that light comes off of the sun we know that that light those light waves travel and they do certain things uh, the first thing we talked about is we know when they hit a smooth or shiny surface they are able to bounce off or reflect into our eyes and that's why we're able to see our reflection so when that light hits something smooth and shiny that's why you see yourself looking back at you uh, we also know that light does not only reflect, it can refract, it can bend. Um, well, let me go back to reflection real quick, I'm sorry, because I talked about smooth and shiny surfaces. If it hits something that is not smooth or shiny, you're not going to see your reflection, you're just going to see that object. So, like our classroom chairs are curved. The reason why when I look at our classroom chairs, I don't see my reflection, it's not a smooth, shiny surface. The light still reflects off of that chair, bounces off that chair into my eyes, but I just see that object. I don't see my reflection in it. So not every, obviously not everything is smooth and shiny. Um, back to what I was saying. So we know reflection. Light can also refract. And uh, the vocabulary that we used was when it's traveling through different mediums. So when it's hitting different objects, that light slows down. It travels at different speeds through different objects. And we looked at those pictures of the light bending, where it looked like you had objects that were split into two separate pieces, or you had... Uh, I think we had a polar bear's head over here and his body over here, when in reality, obviously it's put together, but when the light's traveling, it hits that different medium, the light refracts, and it's almost like an optical illusion, right? So I said we were going to cover one more thing that light tends to do, and sometimes light can be absorbed. And you have probably experienced this a thousand times, but never really thought about it. So I'm going to read this definition for you. It says light does not always bounce off of an object or travel through an object. Sometimes it is absorbed into an object. The particles in whatever the material may can be, that's not right, can be converted into other forms of energy. So we're end up in science, we're going to end up learning about a lot of different types of energy. We got thermal energy, we got electrical energy. But the, these different forms of energy can all, all be converted into different types. Like I can take electrical energy and turn it into light energy with plugging a lamp into a wall. Or I can take light energy and turn it into heat energy, which is something that I'm talking about you may have experienced. A lot of times when you go out on the playground, if you were in your bare feet, you'd probably have no problem walking on the grass. But if you took your bare feet and walked on the blacktop, if you walked on the basketball court, you would feel instant an instant change of temperature underneath your feet. That's because the darker an object, the more light that it absorbs. Um, and, and they can convert that energy, that light, into heat. If you notice, if you ever wore uh, a black t-shirt or a navy blue t-shirt outside, you may feel a lot hotter under that natural source of light than somebody wearing a white t-shirt. The, the darker color that you're wearing, the more light you're going to absorb. Um, the lighter your color is, the less that you'll absorb and the more that you'll reflect. That's kind of like when you look at something white outside and it looks even brighter than everything else. So the darker, the more you observe, the, the more you absorb, you can feel that light soaking into your shirt, the less you reflect. The lighter your shirt, like a white shirt, the less you absorb, absorb, you might not feel that in your shirt, the more you reflect. So it's kind of bright when somebody looks at you. And another way that light can be absorbed and converted into energy, you may not see it a whole lot around Greenville or your neighborhood, but if you look at this picture I've got right here, there's something called solar panels that they have on roofs where those solar panels take in that light energy and they can convert that light energy to electrical energy to help power your house, to power uh, electrical outlets, anything that you have in your home, which a lot of people try to do uh, to help the environment. 
So when light is being absorbed, sometimes you just feel it and it doesn't really help, but sometimes light can be absorbed and converted to a different form of energy to help out, like using a solar panel. So those are the three main things that I needed you to know about once light waves travel, what they can do, all right? I'm in my classroom wall, or you just look right behind me, this whiteboard. I know for a fact that light is reflecting off of that whiteboard because I can see it. Now, I cannot see my reflection, but I can see that whiteboard. So it is reflecting off of that into my eyes. With refraction, and you can do this at your house. Get a glass of water, put a spoon in it, okay? Hold it up and you should be able to see that the light will refract, it'll bend and make it kind of look like that optical illusion. And if you can, for absorption, a couple different ways you can do this. If you got a black t-shirt and a white t-shirt, go put them, excuse me, go put them out in the front yard for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then go back out and see if you can feel the difference in that heat absorption in a black shirt or a white shirt. Or if you have a black sheet of paper and a white sheet of paper. Anything that can kind of show those two differences, put them out in your yard or put them on like a windowsill and you will feel the difference between the two colors. I know if, um, if you have like a uh, black interior on your car, now car interior gets hot regardless depending on the material you have. But if you have like a black interior in your car, that stuff absorbs a ton of heat, which a lot of times why people have those window covers so the sun can't get in. So the darker the material, the more absorption, the less reflection of light. All right, so there's no assignment with that today, but tomorrow, I'm going to have all three of these things kind of put together uh, for one little mini quiz. And you can use these videos as you complete it. I'm going to take questions straight from what I've told you. So be sure to utilize these uh, to help you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's what, Friday? Tomorrow's Friday. Yes. Uh, so we'll do that. And then on Monday, nope, on Wednesday next week, we'll pick back up where we left off. All right, guys. Why can't I stop this? Where's my button? Found it.